Hey guys, it's Drew with Gusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. We're taking a look at a whole bunch of coins today, seeing if they will cack or won't cack based on our opinion. Let's get this video started. So like I said, we're gonna be taking uh, some time to show you guys our predictions on some coins. We actually filmed this video uh, a few weeks back before we sent these coins into CAC. So if you guys actually want to see the CAC reveal, uh, watch this full video, see what I thought about them, and then Wednesday we'll be showing you guys exactly what CAC thought about them. And the reason why we filmed it this way is because we wanted you guys to not only hear and kind of sponge up what I was saying about the coins, but also get a really quick turnaround time for you you know, instead of waiting a few weeks for me to give you guys the CAC review, you only have to wait a few days for it. And so, uh, yeah, let's get this video started. We hope you guys enjoy these coins. All right, guys, it's kickoff part two with some nice coins. Show you guys some stuff that we think will do well and some things we think we do that won't do well. We have two coins coming from... Uh, the personal stash today, this is a 1905 AU55 2.5 gold lib, and you can, as you can tell, I mean the surfaces on this coin are pretty nice. A little bit of toning, um, or a little bit of dark spots around the stars, but it has been circulated for sure. Still a nice little piece of history. And I bought this coin because I thought it would not be a nice B coin. And when you're taking a look at it, I don't see things that are too, too distracting for this coin. Luster's still pretty nice as well. And, uh, I don't know, I like the coin overall. I will give this coin a B grade for the time being, and we'll see how it goes. Just a nice, stunning example. Can't go wrong with a nice coin like that. Here's a coin we bought way back. This is a 1940 Walking Liberty Half. This is the white label that we bought from the Bossier City Show. And when taking a look at this coin, the fields are really nice and clean. There's a few kind of uh, striations here. A little uh, scuff here, as you can see. And there's a little bit of a touch here. Um, I do think this coin's pretty nice. I'm not too sure if it's a 65 uh, green cack or no, a 66 green cack. I think this one was grade 65. So I think this one really just is a nice green bean at the end of the day. I don't think it would have a, a real shot at gold cack. It's just, uh, it's a nice coin, but I don't think it would based on just those few hits in the fields. And it just, you know, those things sometimes just hold me back from giving it that really nice grade but still a nice coin for sure really love this coin can't wait to get a sticker on it it's gonna be a very exciting day uh, the next coin i want to show you is a 1925 stone mountain commemorative this one is toned when you take a look at the fields here i mean just nice interesting bluish reddish greenish just everything on this coin is going off as you can see there's a lot of just you know a lot of nice appealing surfaces on the coin. A few kind of scuffs on the holder which make it hard for you to see. You know, there's a few kind of hits here on the coin. Um, but when you flip over the coin, not too many problems down here either. It's kind of hard for you to see the grade with just uh, the amount of things on the holder. But uh, I don't see a really a weakness in strike too much here. But uh, it is a, a nice strong example. I do think this one has a nice shot at a at a green cac, just based on the qualities that I see. A few kind of touches here, but uh, you know, still a nice eye appealing coin. We'll see how this one goes, but right now, for the time being, I'm going to stick with a B coin. Up next is a few coins from our friend locally. His name's Adam. This is a 1942 Walker, graded MS66 by PCGS. He's very selective on what he likes to pick up and send in. This one has a nice, you know, a really good eye appeal in terms of luster. The strike is relatively strong. You can see a little bit of haze here out on the right side. But I don't think that's too uh, much of an issue for this coin at all. And taking a look at the reverse, there's a, you know, a nice little strong presence of luster like you really need to see on a 66. I think this one has a really good shot at green. I took a lot of, all, you know, I took an inventory of everything that he wanted to send in. And I told him what would and what wouldn't. And I do think this one out of the walkers that he sent in has the best shot. And I'll show you the rest of them here in just a moment. 
just a nice uh, walker though for sure. We've been selling a few of those when we get them in that are, you know, 66 CAC walkers. Just a little bit of a high demand for those. It's a 1945S Walking Liberty half for an MS66. Reason why I'm not too much of a fan on this coin is because it is an S mint coin. Luster is very weak here. Not luster, but the strike. And the luster out in the fields are uh, a little bit suppressed, as you can see. Uh, you can still see a little bit of the bowl luster going around the rim here, but that haze is just overtaking the coin on both sides. And that, for me, really just doesn't doesn't make it a really nice, beautiful 66. And so I would uh, put this coin at a B coin. Uh, no, I'm sorry, at a C coin, honestly, just based on the qualities that I see in the coin. I think it's a nice one, but nothing that would really give it that you know cream of the crop for a 66. Hey guys, I wanted to take a quick break in this video to let you know that if you guys are liking the video so far, please hit the like button, comment your thoughts about the coins that we've mentioned and shared with you. Do you agree with our, our, uh, you know, our opinions? Do you disagree with them? All of that's important, let us know down below. Subscribe if you're new. And if you guys want to sell coins to us, 832-538-4122, that's my direct sell. And uh, you can get in contact with us, with us anytime. Uploading a bunch of coins this week, AkushaCollectibles.com. If you want something for your collection, I'd be happy to help you out with that. Uh, also, text me at my number if you want to send me an offer or anything. Uh, just giving you a spoiler for Wednesday. This is uh, one of our coins from our personal set. Uh, just a really nicely toned Morgan Dollar and a Rattler. Ended up gold khaki. So if you guys want to see anything uh, else uh, about this CAC submission when it comes back for us to show you, make sure to tune in Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central. Here is a 1945 Walking Liberty half, graded MS66 by PCGS. Luster's pretty strong on this coin, but there are a lot of hits in the fields, a lot of problems on the high points. You can kind of see these big, huge digs here out on the coin. Little few striations there, which isn't a big problem. There's also a very big weakness on the on the shield, you know, the shield plate there. But it's a nice coin. I just don't know if it would be uh, it would cross the line in terms of it being a 66 CAC. It's kind of a few little spots here also. Nothing too distracting on the reverse. Kind of a coin roll on the, the wing. But for me, I think this coin at the end of the day would be a C coin. Just something that. Yeah, like I said, a decent 66, but not a 66 CAC. And so we're being very selective on what we think would CAC and what we think uh, wouldn't CAC because at the end of the day, you just don't want to get people's hopes up, and that's what's important. Here's an 1879 three cent nickel. This one's graded proof 65 by PCGS. Overall, the surfaces on the obverse are pretty, uh, you know, pretty good. No distracting spots. A lot of the stuff on proofs are going to have either milky spots or dark spots from environmental issues and so when you find one without spots that's when, that's when you know you're in a good spot uh, or a good place interesting kind of uh, you know just an interesting design for sure really like this one don't think there's too many problems on it I would at the end of the day give this one uh, a green cack I think it's a nice beautiful coin it was great a while ago and uh, we will definitely see how this one goes a little bit of a touch right underneath the chin there, which is a problem, but overall, I mean, I think the coin doesn't have too many issues with it. A little bit of haze for sure, but I mean, still a nice stunning coin. Don't see too many like that that often, just because there's a lot, like I say, with spots and issues, and uh, you know, that's just the way it goes. Up um, next is an 1892 Proof uh, Indian Head Scent, graded Proof 63, brown by PCGS. This one has some really interesting green and blue wild color on the obverse. Just a very stunning coin. I told the collector that he really needs to send this coin in to get some true views. I mean, this coin is is pretty interesting. I don't see too many problems with the coin in terms of spotting or anything else. I think it's just a majority of toning. And, uh, you know, there's a few kind of touches here of spots right behind the head. But, I mean, overall, pretty interesting coin nothing really as an issue for the reverse which is nice just a nice brown surfaces coin really like this one a lot I do think this one has a nice shot at being a, you know a green sticker at the end of the day I think that it has that eye appeal has that color and just has that really nice surfaces um, there is a spot here but I'm not too sure if that would weigh it down for the coin 
Um, but that, that spot probably is the biggest anchor for this coin. But we will see. Um, hoping for a B, but most likely is, is going to be a C coin for sure. Um, just based on that, that spot that I saw at the end there. We have a few V-nickels to show you guys also. So 1912 V-nickel, great MS65 by PCGS. Nice, strong surfaces here. Luster's pretty nice also. A kind of a little coin roll on the chin, but nothing of, you know, too, too much of a problem there. When you flip over the coin, you know, uh, once again, there's not too many problems here, not too many uh, distracting spots or anything like that. A uh, few little nicks here that you always kind of see around the V, but wow, it's a nice coin. I really like this coin. I do think this one has a shot at being a, you know, a B coin, and I do think that our collector will be very pleased with this once it comes back from CAC. Um, just something that you really want in your collection, a nice problem-free coin that CAC will enjoy also. A little bit of a tougher coin here, this is a 1942 over one Mercury Dime, graded XF40 by uh, PCGS. When you're taking a look at this coin, see that really nice overdate there. A few little scratches on the holder as you can see, but um, you know, the coin overall I think has some cleany looking surfaces. I think it was net graded down just based on that. And I'm not too sure this one will get a green sticker based on just the surfaces of the coin don't make me too happy with it. If it had some a little bit more originality, I think it would all day have a chance. But I do think this one is a C coin based on that. It's a little bit easier to tell once, you know, sometimes when you see those circulated examples that are a little bit more, uh, you know, just have have been through the ringer in terms of people using maybe a chemical on it or something like that. Still got a, a straight grade, but I don't think it has that, that really nice, uh, excellent XF40 grade. <clears throat> Up next is 1883 Proof uh, V nickel. This one's very Proof 65 Cameo by PCGS. If you take a look at the, the fields, you can really see some Nice contrast there. It's almost like a blue, uh, you know, blue looking coin. When you take a look at the face, which is my main problem, there's a little bit of a spot behind the eye. You can see it right there. So a spot behind the eye there, which is my main problem. Spot on the neck, spot in the field, even a spot right here on the coin. So the thing that I would say about this coin is that it's nice. But those spots for me really do uh, set it apart. I can't even get a nice focus on this coin because it's that that beautiful. But you know, there's a lot of kind of scuffs as you can see on the on the holder. But yeah, the reverse isn't too bad. There's not any really distracting spots. But those spots on the obverse really do take away from uh, what CAC is going to perceive it as. I think it's still a nice coin overall, but I don't think this one is going to be a B coin. I think this one is going to be a C coin. So we got a few old holders to show you guys also. This collector really likes them. And uh, this is a 1938S Texas, great MS66 by PCGS. Another uh, holder that got all scratched up, but as you can tell, there's not a lot of nice color on this obverse of this coin. Texas's are pretty tough to find with color. And so finding one with color and in a rattler is pretty nice for sure. Um, my main focus is the high points on a lot of these Texas coins. You can kind of see right in the chest area, there's some there's some rubbing for sure. Rubbing a little bit on the hand, a little bit on the knee, which is, isn't too much of a problem. You're going to see that a lot with these. Um, when you take a look at the obverse again, you know, nothing uh, too much of a, a problem, to be honest. I think this one has a really nice shot at being a green cack, just based on the, the semi-nice kind of luster in the fields and the the eye appeal, but also, I mean, the strike is a little weak on the reverse, but I don't think that's too big of an issue. But still, a nice stellar coin. I'm going to give this one a B grade. Up next is this 1889 Proof V Nickel, graded Proof 64 by PCGS. When you're taking a look at this coin in the in the fields, you can really see a nice, a uh, nice kind of color to the coin. It's kind of hard to see, like I say, with all these scratches. It's just whatever collector took them in to sell them at the shop that he bought them at really, uh, really didn't care for these, uh, really didn't care for these holders here. But taking a look in the fields here, there's a little bit of darkness around the stars. But 
the color overall is pretty pleasant. Nothing too, uh, nothing too much of a problem. It's kind of like an iridescent color of the coin when you kind of aim it down. You can kind of see that kind of greenish blue. Interesting iridescent for sure. I'm taking a look at the reverse here. Uh, you know, nothing that I would say is distracting also. So I think this coin, uh, you know, there's a few kind of hits right around the V like we were talking about earlier, but I do think this coin has a nice shot at being a B coin. Um, not too many spots that were, like really stick out. I think there's a few spots right underneath her. But uh, we're going to give this one a B coin for now and see how it goes. Still trying to get my, uh, you know, trying to wrap around my finger and understand uh, all these proof kind of coins. It's just a little bit tougher for me sometimes. So if it comes back a different grade, I apologize. Just trying to learn and understand it. Nice, you know, three proof vehicle. This one is pretty nice also. It's hard, kind of hard to pick up because of the, uh, just the, you know, the holders kind of reflecting it, but there's a little bit of haze you can see all on the obverse of the coin here, which for me isn't a good sign. It's a really hazy proof also, which is something that I wouldn't really uh, be attached to personally. When you're taking a look at the reverse, you know, there's still a lot of haze here also. It's just, for me, I just don't think it's a nice eye appealing proof 64. It isn't a rattler, but it just, for me, isn't enough. And I would call this one a C coin also. And we have one more coin to show you, which is a pretty interesting holder. This is a 1912 V-nickel in a doily holder. This one's a great MS64 by PCGS. So you can see the color on the coin is very excellent. I mean, just very strong and beautiful. I like that a lot. These spots right here and right here, it's going to put this coin in the C category. Well, let's continue to show you. I mean, the surfaces on the face are really nice. When you take a look at the reverse, um, there's some color uh, on the lower half. Right above the A is it's another carbon spot, and that carbon spot is the worst of all of them, in my opinion. And like I said, this coin really is a C coin at the end of the day, but a nice C coin for sure. I mean, I wouldn't want to get rid of this coin out of my collection if it cacked or not. So uh, just a nice stellar piece. But thank you guys for watching this part. Let's cut it to the outro. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, what we had to say, like I said, please leave a like. If you leave a like, it'll reach out to more people. YouTube will say, hey, let's bring in more collectors that want to talk about coins. So that would mean a lot to us. Comment your thoughts, like I said, about what your, what your thoughts of the coins were. Were there some that were green CAC, gold CAC, no CAC? All of that's really important to us because it really gives us good feedback on what we should improve on and what uh, maybe something that we missed. And subscribe if you're new. We've got new videos coming out every single week. And uh, you're going to be wanting to stay tuned for Wednesday. It's going to be an awesome video. We'll see you soon.